Today on Short Form Focus, we look at what it means to have gas. That's gear acquisition syndrome. Having recently moved countries, I still don't have a lot of my gear. It's all still sitting in a shipping container and I'm still waiting for it to arrive. But why do I have all of this gear? Do I use this all on a daily basis? The answer really is no. Let me just stress something. I have used it all, but I haven't used it all nearly as often as I would have liked. So what is gas or gear acquisition syndrome? It's the all-consuming desire to expand your collection of gear. And I'm a sucker for it. And over the years, I've been addicted to many different kinds of gear. I remember that I went through a stage of continuously wanting to upgrade my desktop PC because I never thought it was powerful enough to handle the footage that I was throwing at it. Then I discovered this wonderful thing called editing using proxies, which meant that I didn't have to upgrade my desktop PC, which disappointed me because I wanted to. I wanted the latest and greatest. Vintage cameras and specifically vintage lenses are another one that I am a sucker for. I just love the look that you get from these lenses when you shoot wide open. The bokeh, the blurry, out of focus parts of the image are beautiful. I also, believe it or not, wanted to jump on the 4K train when it came to my camera equipment, and I eventually did. When I shot my master's film, I jumped on that train, and I could almost justify doing that because it was my master's. But it meant having to migrate to a whole new camera system. I was shooting Canon originally, and when I decided to jump on the 4K train, I migrated to Sony, and it was an expensive process. But the truth is, you don't actually need the latest and greatest gear in order to shoot your film. Yes, you need gear, but let me say this. Searching for Sugar Man, an Oscar-winning film, was partly shot on an iPhone. So consider this. The best camera is the one that you have. It's not about having the latest and greatest gear to shoot your film. It's about the story. And over the years, I've learned this the hard way. In the past, I have put too much focus on the technical aspects of the filmmaking process, and I've ignored what is the most important aspect, the story. If you have a strong story, it doesn't matter whether you shoot it on an Arri Alexa, a RED camera, or an iPhone. It will be great either way because you have focused on what matters most, and that is the story. One other thing that is bad if you are focusing on new shiny gear when directing is that you will ignore your actors, your cast, and you will not be focusing on their performances. And let's be honest, what is the point of shooting a film if you are not focused on the story and on the performance as a director? That's where your attention needs to be. That concludes my thoughts on gas or gear acquisition syndrome. I'm going to leave a few links to some articles on gas below, so if you're interested, check those out. I would love to hear your thoughts on gas, on gear acquisition syndrome in the comments below. Is it something you've dealt with or something you're still trying to overcome? Let me have your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a new video and hit that bell icon so you get them notifications. Also, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and comment on these platforms. I want to hear from you about the type of content you want to see on the channel. And until next week, remember, it all starts with a story. Now, I want to hear you say it with me. I have gas and I'm not afraid to admit it. Don't deny it. You've got it. Say it with me. I have gas and I'm not afraid to admit it.